Hi, I'm Paul Steigerwald, and if you're like me, you've probably had one of these hanging around during the holidays. It's created by Wendell August Forge and based out of Mercer, PA. They've created dozens of keepsakes for the Pittsburgh Penguins over the past decade and have gone through unimaginable ups and downs during that span. 60 miles north of downtown Pittsburgh is a factory just off I-79, where day in and day out, the focus is shaping metal into beautiful works of art. Well, the unique history of Wendell August is we're founded right here in western Pennsylvania. We're headquartered here in Mercer, and uh, we are going on our 96th year in business. So we started as a small blacksmith operation in Brockway, and uh, when the Aluminum Corporation of the World, Alcoa, uh, commissioned uh, a new metal that was out into the marketplace, they called and uh, inquired of Wendell August if we could make a very unique piece for their new technical institute, and we won that. It created a modern opportunity for Wendell August to get into a new arena, ornamental giftware. The whole relationship with Wendell August Forge started way, way back when uh, we were closing the Civic Arena. First time ever we commissioned Wendell August Forge to develop a ticket. You know, never have done a ticket before. This was their first foray. And it was the single largest order the Forge had ever gotten. Almost immediately, the partnership was marred by a devastating accident, putting the decades old company in peril. You know, once we received the largest order in our company's history, uh, it was such a successful opportunity to be able to see a small company that was turning a new chapter. And uh, before that new chapter turned, three days after, our entire plant and our forge burnt to the ground. Believe it or not, the first I heard of the fire was, was actually on the news. When August burnt to the ground, fortunately they saved the die. So here they are. They came back and they said to us, hey, we can still make these. I got a call on my cell phone and it was Dave that said, hey, I would like to talk to you. Can you please gain your men and, and get into a conference call? Uh, he said, hey, I heard you had a really adverse fire. We know that we've had challenges in our organization, but we want to stand behind you, not only as a community partner, but also a champion to say, you guys can do this. Senior management for the organization decided we're going to prepay the invoice so that we give them the cash to do it. I literally turned around and looked at my men, looked at our president at the time, looked at some of the executive leaders in the room, and I literally see tears going down their face. That was the last tear that I saw them shed because literally they mobilized and it gave them you know, the passion to be able to move forward. Went outside, went into a barn, actually made the tickets for that original promotion, and here we are today. We've never made a ticket up until that opportunity, and now it's one of our largest selling items in our entire collection here at Wendell August. After the Civic Arena closed its doors, Wendell August Forge and the Pittsburgh Penguins Foundation began to work on yet another project, this time using materials found above the heads of spectators at the old igloo. Very few people know it. There were probably two or three different gauges of steel that was built on the arena roof. There hasn't been anything that we've tasked them to do, whether it be individual awards, whether it be uh, assisting one of our partners that they haven't come to the, come to the table and deliver it. Sid is receiving a specially crafted plaque from the Wendell August Forge made of steel from the roof of the old Civic Arena, where he began his NHL career in 2005. The question most frequently asked, hey, is this from the arena roof? No, we've, we've about to depleted the arena roof. Today, Wendell August has fully recovered from their factory burning down and is thriving. Their most recent projects with the Penguins Foundation are a Player's Edition coaster set and a Blades of Champions knife set made from the skate blades of Penguins past and present. Team sent us over a bunch of skate blades. Hey, is there anything you could do with these? You know, So we started to think and we had some ideas from the team and from our staff there. Maybe we could make steak knives out of them. Isn't that crazy? Came up with the design of how we were going to make these knife blades. So we removed the skate blade from the knife and then we clean up all of our, our filings there. Still looks a little bit like a knife blade and a little bit like a skate blade. So then we start our bevel. So the bevel is wherever the back of the knife comes to the cutting edge. One whole set together from start to finish, that's about two hours. Cutting the blade out, grinding to final sharpening. Started out in black and white drawings and I didn't think I could do color. And then over the years, I just slowly incorporated it. And um, whenever penguins approached me to do a black and white drawing for Wendell August, that they would need it specifically black and white. It was about 20 hours per piece and they supplied the images and I was able to create four, uh, 
were drawings for them for the coaster set. Tepe has been fabulous from day one. Uh, she's a true professional but amazing gifted artist. A few years back, I was recognized as the first female licensed artist by the NFL. Um, so there's not a whole lot of female artists out there in the sports industry. That's another feather in my cap that I can hold on to and be proud of for sure. They had a very, very unique artist uh, that they've commissioned and uh, illustrated the players. It was an original series. Uh, the pen shared the concept with us. And when those original photographs were presented to us, it allows us to now go to work on how we make things original into our coaster collection. This is where art becomes reality. Uh, sitting in the corner here, we have one of our senior master engravers. This is Len Youngo. I carve an image into the steel and when my job is complete. What they'll do is they'll pay, put a piece of sheet metal over top of it and pound it in and get the mirror image. So therefore, I have to do everything backwards. This is one of our artisans. He's taken that piece of steel that the master engraver has cut. He's putting it onto a hammer table. He's going to line it, and then he's going to pin it down to where that metal's not going to move so we don't get any vibration. If we get vibration, the pattern would jump. What he's doing right now is turning on a, an automatic hammering machine. He's forging in each one of those hammer marks that allows that die to put in represe. Whatever was cut into that piece of steel is now gonna be put permanently into the piece of metal. There's three parts to what I'd say is our relationship. You know, the first is different and unique items. You know, these come from our staff, from people at the foundation, from our, our fans. The second part is the creativity to execute these ideas by Wendell August Forge. And the third and the most important part of this whole thing is our fans. You know, and our fans, they deliver the goods. Today, you know, over a 10-year you know, relationship with Wendell August Forge, they've helped us raise over $1 million net to the foundation for our various programs. And that's an unbelievable relationship. 